Hi everyone, this is Watch from the MW Technology Channel, and I just want to show this really cool app that I discovered recently for the iPhone. It's called iShutdown, and basically what it allows you to do is turn your computer remotely on or off just using the application via a local Wi-Fi connection. So when you open up the application, you'll see that it's a really simple layout. The interface is very clean and nice to use. There's only three menus. Let's go into the first menu, which is the information slash help menu, and this is where you get the detailed written instructions instructions step by step on how to set this thing up. Now the setup process is really simple. I'll show you how to do it, but here's the written way of how to do it if you need to know. So basically what we need to do to get this up and running is download the iShutdown server application. And to do that, you will want to go to iShutdownApp.com. You could download the server application either for a PC or a Mac. I'm running on a PC, so we're going to download the server application for the PC. And when it's done, we're just going to simply install it. It takes no time at all. It's a very small application. And once the installation is complete, you'll see this little tiny window saying I shut down. And this is the server application that we need to run on our PC in order for the communication process to occur. Now to turn on your computer is a different matter. What you need to do is get access to the MAC address to your specific computer. You can do this by accessing your router wireless access point uh, via any kind of web browser and you should be able to get your MAC address that way for your computer. There's also many other ways you can go through your uh, networking settings on your operating system itself and to find that information. But once you have your MAC address, you can go into the iPhone application, go into the specific computer that it should be automatically set up once it realizes that uh, your iPhone server is running for whatever computer and go into it and put in your MAC address. Once that is done, uh, the application uses a protocol called Wake on LAN, which basically sends a packet of information to your router, and then the router sends that information to the computer via a hardwired Ethernet connection. It's very crucial that you have a hardwired Ethernet connection between the computer and the router itself. But the power is really is when you go into this shutdown menu over here. It's a very nice, clean, a sleek looking interface and press the off button. Uh, right now my computer is on but as you can see in just a couple of moments it'll go completely off. And now it's completely off and if I wanted to turn it back on again even though it's completely off I can go ahead and press the on button again and it'll send the little wake on LAN protocol and turn it on remotely. And that's really it. I really love this application. It's super convenient. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this application, anything to do with the setup process or anything like that, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care. Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at six of my favorite uh, Cydia tweaks for the new iPhone 4S. A lot of these tweaks are just for Siri. In fact, uh, there are a few that will work.